the highest you've been? Um, at home with my roommate. Really? Yeah, I just we kind of hung out at home and just turned it on. And if you go on the Snapchat of all the players, you know they're all Snapchatting and watching it and getting all excited when he when he won. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I texted him that night too, and he actually got back to me, you know, a few days later. But it's pretty cool. That I, I heard he was trying to text everybody back. That did he tell you how many people congrats. were getting a hold of him? He, we we heard he had like yeah, a thousand. Texts. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I heard too. So yeah, that's crazy. What was that emotion like uh, for you personally when you hear his name called? You see him walk up there mm-hmm. with, you know, this crowd of, of the game's best players. Yeah, it's a big deal because it's the the biggest award in college football. And you, you know, I practice with that guy. We all practice with him every day and see how he works and see how he practices, see how he prepares for games. And you know, you know, like like the people that voted for the award, they could see it. Everybody else could see it. You know, he's the best player in college football. Were you expecting him to be that emotional when he gave a speech? Um, I don't know, cause you know he he tries to try to keep the keep his cool in games, and he's not you know too emotional um, around us. But you know, I definitely you know I think every athlete has you know the side of him that you know is really thankful for you know everybody that's helped him and his family and his friends, and so you know he he let you know he let them be known. What does it mean for this program to have their first Heisman winner be your starting quarterback? Yeah, it's big. You know, it gives us a. Little, I feel like it gives us a little edge, you know, because now we have the best player in, in, in college football. We're going into, you know, the first round of the playoffs with the Rose Bowl. And, you know, as a university, it's going to be a big thing. You know, just being the first of anything is exciting. And it'll, it'll, it'll help, you know, in the future when, you know, we're recruiting and everything. Say, hey, we want a Heisman. You know, we can do it. <laughs> um, he's going on Letterman tonight. Did, yeah. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that, too. That's why he was in their practice today. So, um, but... Yeah, so I'll, I'll probably try to tune in and watch that, see what he has to say. What do you think his top ten is going to be like then? Shoot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, that's a hard one. I'll just probably just watch and see what he says. What do you guys think about Florida State? Uh, how much have you seen uh, since um, They're fast and athletic and big, so uh, we just have to prepare, be ready to go. I know a few of the, the – the, the demons of backs personally, Ronald Darby. You know, I used to run against him in track, you know, for a long time. So he's a real fast guy. He can play. And then uh, Kermit Whitfield, you know, I ran against him too. So um, we have a, a fast team, an athletic team. So you know, as long as we can, you know, we can stop some of the key guys, we we'll would be okay. How does their speed compare to other Pac-12 teams you may have seen this season? Um, I don't know. I know they have a few, you know, really, really elite guys. So you know, as a whole, you can say, you know, U of A. As a team, their their speed is, is great. You know, Washington as a team, their speed is great with John Ross. But you know, they have some of those guys at Florida State that can really open up the field, kind of like we had with DeAnthony last year. Um, so, yeah. what has it been like this week getting back into that in, into that game mode? You guys had time off last week to take care of finals and, and take care of some business. But what is it like getting back onto the practice field and really flipping that switch again, getting ready for these particular goals? Um, it's kind of hard, but we need it. You know. Like you said, last week we had finals, and then I went up to Seattle to hang out with my mom for a few days, and so I was kind of just laying back, just ate a whole bunch of junk food and, and everything like that. So I felt a little bit sluggish today. You know, I was a little sore. We, everybody was a little sore from lifting, you know, getting back into the flow of things. But I think by tomorrow we'll be fine, ready to go. And, you know, we're, we're going to jump into it. You know, we'll have another week off. Um, and then hopefully, you know, hopefully when I go home, I'll be able to work out and stay in shape and ready to go. So when we can come back to the Rose Bowl for preparation, we'll be Good to go and ready to play. Mentally, was there a flip quick. that you guys need to switch getting okay. onto I mean, the field um, Not really. I think the coaches did a real good job of easing us into it. We had a little shakeout um, earlier this week. So um, so our legs you know, our legs were a little sore, but that's just like any other team. And uh, I think okay. mentally, we kind of we kind of we didn't take it really easily mentally. We kind of went like, finished back to fall camp, and we were running plays that we haven't run for months. So, you know, mentally, it was a good work, you know, and we jumped into it physically. Um, to kind of keep us healthy and, and get us going again. Byron said the month off quote, sucks. What do you feel about the month? Uh, How do you guys kind of you know combat against you know, that kind of losing focus? Yeah, I mean it. It sucks because you know it's just a long season. You know, and football is fun, but you get tired. You know, it's you know four, four, four or five months of playing football. It's a long time, but also it gives you a, a lot of time to prepare um, and get ready. And, and some guys that are injured, you know, can get healthy, and you can have some of those guys back for the game. Cool. Did you do any hurdles in the offseason? No. No, I haven't. Yeah, I went to practice for the first time last week during finals week and just watched some of my friends. My roommate, uh, Mitch Modine, is a decathlete. 
So I was watching him practice, and yeah. you know, I don't really, I don't really mess with that stuff until after the football season. Is that for fear of injury almost? Or? Um, no, just because it's a lot. Um, I could do it during spring ball because we had practice every other day, and you know, with practice every day, I, I, it'd just be a lot on my body, and I don't think it would benefit me, you know, that much extra. You know, this might be a little TMI. How much does your body change over the course of a football season compared to where you were in May? Um. You know, in May and then over the summer, you know, we spend a lot of time, you know, during track season, I spend a lot of time leaning out and, and getting ready to run fast. And then in the summer, I spend a lot of time gaining strength, you know, staying lean. And now, you know, as the season goes on, you don't get to lift as much. Um, so now it's just kind of maintaining and hoping that you can keep from strength. Um, you know, and we, we squat, I squatted, I was squatting 185 on Saturday. And I was having a hard time with that. So, <laughs> so, so, you know, your, your body just, you know, is used to, to running around and, yeah. you know, you don't squat anybody on a football field, so we don't really need to worry about that yet. That's probably not as much as Lamoni Stevens squats. So no, uh, not even close, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't do what he does, so. <laughs> hey, uh, Keenan Lowe's been quite a mentor for you guys, yeah. hasn't he? Can yeah. you talk about that? Um, yeah, he's been a, a big key, you know, a big part of our success. You know, yeah. he's one of those guys that kind of gives us, you know, tips and pointers, and then he's yeah. able to, um, you know, encourage us, and, and he knows exactly what to do and how to do it. You know, he's one of those guys that the coaches make examples of him all the time because he's doing everything right, and so now we can just kind of follow and make everything easy. Thank you, Devin. Yep. Thank you, Thank you very much, Thanks. man. Thanks.